Hi, hi friends, how's it going? Long time no see. Here we are for ready for another one. Tonight I would like to present you a pork chop Tuscan style that will be first going through in a skillet pan and then we will finish in the in the oven. So here are our ingredients. Of course the beautiful fresh pork chops. What I do usually to make them nice and tender, I put the day before in a big pan and I put in there some uh, soda water with a little milk and I leave in the fridge that they soak for the whole night. When I take it out, put all the liquid away and we're gonna dry with uh, paper towel. What that does makes the meat very, very, very tender. It will not change any flavor, but it makes it really, really tender. And once we go through the whole process, we are going to place it in a skillet. And here we are. All right, of course, the pork chops. And here in the first bowl, we do have some flour mixed with uh, fresh ground pepper and salt. We mix it all together because that's one of the first steps of our process tonight. And we are ready with that. Another bowl here we have some uh, fresh Parmesan cheese, sage and breadcrumbs. We mix it all together. You can go very royal with the cheese because that will give not just a, only the flavor but also a nice crust on the pork chop. You mix it nice all together. It already smells really, really good. You can smell the cheese beautifully. If you have fresh che uh, sage will be great. If you don't, dry sage will do all also. We're done. And at the end we will use the lemon zest and I will show you how we do that. We start first with our pork chop. Goes through the flour. Alright, ready to go. Of course, because sometimes I talk much faster than what I am. I forgot to tell you that we do need eggs, of course. And like always in our house, we only use our fresh eggs from our beautiful chickens. So we go through the flour, we're just shaking good, and we go through our beautiful eggs, and then we just go through the bread. It doesn't have to be a really heavy one, but just nice and full. All right, and the next step will be, of course, uh, having a nice and hot skillet. We will tell you also what we put in there. We are done with our uh, pork chop, the whole process. We have a skillet and we put half a butter and half oil nice and hot that is just so that we going to sear our pork chop about three minutes from each side then we will place in a cooking pan and it will go right in the oven but before that we still have another little step we will show you That's our beautiful colors. Look how nice. Like I say, three to four minutes each side. Give a nice beautiful color. And the finished hand will be in the oven. All right friends, here we are. Our pork chop have been sealed. Then look how beautiful they look. They smell really good too, nice color. 
very very tender you just can push down the finger it comes back the last step is a nice fresh lemon zest all over our pork chop please be royal with that too that will give a nice flavor and a good color also it really smells already good 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 once we're done with that we will place in the oven that we have already preheated at uh, 415 and then it will be for about 12 minutes of course always use your judgment because like we have said before every stove is a little different but 12 minutes is supposed to be good okay good excellent we're done with this Ooh, a little more here and there just go down Ooh, smells so great looks good all right so now we'll place in the oven like we say oh and surprise we're making a small focaccia too look at here all right that's for tonight also so in the hand 12 minutes and we will be ready all right here we are our beautiful pork chops are ready we're gonna plate it they are nice and tender beautiful color of course and that will be also our dinner and our friends dinner for tonight but I can say if there is somebody that we like to have some more lemon flavor you're more than welcome if you don't you can leave it like that I personally like lots of lemon so I squeeze more fresh lemon on top and we are ready our salad for tonight little focaccia that will be our dinner of course never can miss my own wine we just took it out our barrel uh, last Friday that's our wine it tastes good it looks good and yeah let me drink too so we are ready with that of course I want to thank my wife Rose for for the taping and friends we are in a very very tough time right now please stay home enjoy it cook a lot eat a lot have a good time and keep distance let's be safe and hopefully we all can see soon again and have a great time together. Have a wonderful night. Ciao, ciao.